it's a mix of familiarity with those of you who are really uh, fans of the Might Magic series and especially Heroes and innovation because we added a couple of features that will really uh, make you feel that the game uh, goes in uh, different ways and uh, refreshes your own experience. Um, it's also um, uh, let's say um, an evolution from uh, the cartoony style of Heroes 5 to something more comic book and graphic novel. Uh, and finally, uh, it's a game with a lot of surprises because we haven't announced everything yet. It's a stern-based strategy, so it still uh, is respectful to the spirit, the core, the foundations of the series. Uh, imagine an RDS in which uh, you spend action points or movement points uh, to perform your actions. It simply slows the pace uh, a bit, but also it allows you to focus on really the strategy. We have streamlined a lot of things uh, to make the game more accessible to a wider audience. The interface, of course, but also the learning uh, part, the tutorials, uh, what we call the accessibility. Uh, we have made uh, the visuals a bit more sexy as well. And we have added a couple of features like uh, the area of control or uh, the reputation system that will make the game fresher for those who are really uh, seasoned uh, Might Magic Heroes players. So we have revealed three factions out of the five that will be included in the final game. The first one, Haven, is the Knights of the Holy Empire, and as it implies, you know, uh, their uh, paladins, their zealots, their uh, fanatics, their uh, they think that they are the shield of the, the, the civilized world. Uh, we have uh, the the demons, the Inferno faction. At first, you could take them for you know the the, the wanton destroyers, hedonist punks of this world, but also they are the freedom fighters. And we have the necromancers. Again, you know the cliche would let you think that they are the the, the ghoul and uh, zombie summoning guys who were uh, abused when they were children and now they want to get their revenge on the world. But also we have necromancers who really worship death uh, in its mystic aspects and will guide the spirits of the dead to the afterworld and are kind of good guys. The best feature is uh, clearly to me the reputation system that uh, emphasizes uh, the customization of your RPG experience. There uh, has always been a strong RPG dimension to the series, but now you can really uh, create the hero you would like to embody. Multiplayer for now has not been really disclosed. Uh, the only thing I can say for sure and that will uh, let a few fans uh, sleep well tonight is the fact that uh, there is still a hot seat mode and it's planned and it will be in the game. The game is PC exclusive and will ship in Q1 2011.